today. My name is Joel Mercier, and I am the author and composer of uh, A Christmas Carol, the musical ghost story, which is what you just heard Gary talking about. Um, it's a new musical adaptation of the traditional Charles Dickens classic that I'm sure everybody's very familiar with. And uh, we have only just recently cast the production, so um, when we were given the opportunity to perform here today, I thought to myself, well, you know what, I can give them a little taste of the music myself as the composer, why not? Um, but before I do that, I'd like to talk to you just a little bit about what the adaptation is about. Um, how many people here know Christmas Carol? <laughs> I had a feeling. Um, Christmas Carol is so ultra-familiar to all of us, and that's a good thing and a bad thing, because I think what happens is we start to forget what the story really is about. And I just wanted to share with you what I think the story's about. Um, to me, it's about a, a gentleman who loses touch with the world. And through seeing his past, his present, and future, he is forced to pinpoint where his errors began, and then is allowed the opportunity to sort of figure out how to fix the problem. And I think that's pretty heavy, don't you? <laughs> that's a little bit more dramatic, I think, than what we sometimes think of Christmas Carol. And it's also something I think we can all relate to. Because uh, I think we've all had a few parts of our lives that we think, oh, I could have done that a little differently. And sometimes we all get on a roll when it's hard to turn around. So in, in this particular adaptation, which has a whole brand new original score, um, you're going to see all the charm of Victorian England. You're going to see all your favorite characters. But additionally, we're trying to hammer home the fact that uh, it is about somebody who is given a, a chance to have a reprieve, and he does. So we hope to all see you on the 19th, 20th, and 21st of November for the world premiere of Christmas Carol, the musical ghost story, right here on this stage. Um, this next song that I'm going to perform for you, I'm very excited about. It's one of my favorite pieces, and it's, uh, it's actually called Memories Last. And it is sung by Bob Cratchit, and it's when he finds out that his son, Tiny Tim, has indeed passed away. Um, so I thought, you know, I thought we'd end on a happy note. <laughs> so enjoy the piece. I just want to add, too, in this particular adaptation, we, um, Tiny Tim has a music box. Um, and this song starts and ends with the sound of the music box. So take a listen and see what you think.
We work 